Uh, good morning everyone. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on my latest mock. Um, this is a four-story modular with a bag shop on the ground floor and then a two-story apartment with an attic uh, on the top three floors. Um, all the detailing that went into the front is mostly uh, assorted blue tiling to make it look like, give the brick some extra detail. Uh, I have these um, over window treatments over all the windows and then I carry the same design to the back wall of this balcony uh, just to keep it consistent throughout. Um, the windows all have a blue tint to it. I don't know if my camera can actually capture it. But I'm using blue tinted windows instead of clear glass uh, to tie into the, the color of the walls. And uh, this door is also blue tinted. Uh, I don't know if you can catch that. But I really like the way this balcony turned out. Uh, especially with this adjustable awning. It gives it a nice look. Uh, this um, flower bed wraps around the side of the building over the banister as well. I didn't want to put the entrance to the store out front. Um, seems like all my store entrances are out front, so I want to change it up a little bit here. And I put the entrance to the store in the same walkway that leads up to uh, the apartment upstairs. So let's just look at... Oh, let's show the sides first. So the sides of the building are really bare. And this side is also really bare. Uh, there's just some strange coloration here for how the inside works when I show you that you'll see why um, Oops my window pushed in I'll fix that in a second But um, I'm using this sort of lattice um, type window for the attic and for the back of the um, shop and up here, I have pegs to put advertisement signs. Uh, ah, here's where I wanted this to go. Um, so it's advertising for the local news channel and advertising for the local pizza shop. Um, okay, we'll take a look at the shop first. Um, so it's hard to get in here, but We have this big display window out front. Uh, if you ha can't tell, this is a, a luggage slash bag shop. Uh, think of it as like a high-end coach or a Louis Vuitton bag shop. Um, inside, we can access the, the window display by swinging out the door. And then you can have a minifig changing up the window display and then close it back up. Um, this is the doorway into the shop. So the walls are all white with just this black and uh, yellow stripe going across. That is the door that goes into the back storage room. Um, and then along this wall we have uh, a display board. Um, I had more of these big, I, I think they come from the Scala line, but uh, they're a bunch of big bags. They, they were much bigger than I thought uh, when I ordered them off Brooklyn. I, I didn't realize the scale of them, but they, they turned out okay for uh, big like show pieces. Uh, we have different uh, racks for the different luggages that they fit in. With this design, you can fit four or two in a two by two, so it works well. Then we have the in wall um, shelving units as well. Ok, 
cash register to check out at. And then this back storage area just has um, some boxes, some crates, like, yeah, just boxes and crates that just clip onto the ground. I think I even have bags in these. And then the same uh, clear window display. Uh, I had originally designed this for like a bar type thing, but I could not fit the bar that I wanted to into this space. But I liked the design of the window, so I just kept them in place. And then we have the back, um, the back door. Um, it's actually pretty hard to actually get my fingers into this, so I made this so that it could just pop out easily. So when I pull that, when I open the, d the display case in, I have easier access to the, to the front. So the black and yellow colors used in the awning carry through the whole, carry through the inside, including the the display, uh, the big display um, pieces. Which that's why I'm glad I managed to get that color. Um, so then after this, we'll take a look at the apartment. Uh, there are the steps that lead upstairs, and they lead upstairs into this doorway this doorway I'm undecided what I want to put in this corner um, it's either going to be a bookcase or a table I've been going back and forth haven't really decided I should just put something in there to get it done and say this building's done but um, again I'm using my hardwood floor pan uh, style where I just mix random dark color and wood color um, together because I feel that gives you a more realistic uh, wood paneling for floors. Uh, we have just a cabinet with a TV and a lamp, couch, some random artwork. That leads us into the kitchen. The kitchen has a stove, uh, a counter, a sink in that corner. I don't know if my lighting's good enough that you can see it. Um, some overhead cabinet space. And then uh, a ref ref ah, refrigerator. Um, and then there's the door to the outdoor space where you can come out after you cook and have a nice meal sitting outside. And back inside, these are the steps that go up to the third floor. Uh, I gotta cut away for the third floor. So the steps to the third floor would come up through there. Onto this awning. Here we have the bathroom. With a shower, sink. So hard to film in a small space. And a toilet. That leads into the bedroom with a dresser and a built-in safe. I, I have so many of these built-in safe uh, these safe pieces that I put the built-in safe into a lot of my builds. Uh, there's a clock on the wall, and there is a queen or king size bed, uh, a bigger size bed than uh, the normal bed. I really like the way this one turned out. I think I can pull it out without it breaking. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> uh, hold on, one second. Uh, so this bed isn't actually an entire piece. Uh, this footboard is its own piece. And then the bed and the headboard are a single piece. Um, it's on a 6x6 six six plate. It's always a really big bed. Um, but I like the, the addition of the headboard. Um, and the colors, it, it seems really earthy tones to go well with here. Uh, I didn't tile underneath the bed because it's not shown and I wanted to save some tiling. Um, so this 
snap that back in and it fits really well into the space. Um, okay, so I said there was a fourth floor. Uh, so here's the bathroom and bedroom hallway. Our top floor is actually an attic. Um, so this attic has a drop down uh, ladder that comes through with just like this normal swinging panel. Uh, you can tuck it away so that it goes into the attic and it actually stays up. Um, You can actually tuck the attic so that the attic door stays up. Uh, hold on. Um, my attic's unfinished right now. I don't know what I want to put up here. Maybe this minifig will have like a painting studio. Or maybe they'll have a Lego room. Uh, that could be an option. But it's right now just empty space. Uh, I don't really know what I want to put up here. But the, the door lines up, the attic door lines up uh, with that hallway on the third floor, which is a really nice feature. Um, there's no problem getting a minifig getting up or down. Uh, the roof of this building. has just this solar panel. Uh, I don't know why these two scorpions are up here. I had originally wanted to make it like a wrought iron uh, display on the roof, but uh, yeah, I actually don't like the <laughs> So they're gone. Um, I do like the way the attic has this window. Um, this just goes back to some architecture that's in my local area where uh, the attics do have this peaked roof um, with a... I don't think the windows in those attics actually open up but at least this one does and yeah I like the way this turned out just so you can see scaling here's the Here's the mock against the pet shop and the uh, brownstone building. Um, it's much taller, which is why it goes in a different section of my um, my city, or what I'm planning to be a different row of my buildings. Um, I'm planning on doing a row of um, different brownstones. I already have three built and then um, this type of building will be it's a different row and then a type of building like the pet shop will be a different row. Um, just to because these type of buildings are normally like duplicated many times right next to each other and I like to keep that look if possible in my uh, city. So I'm planning on making a, a street of different style buildings right next to each other.